Hello, my dear children of class 10. I hope you are keeping well at home. And in the previous chapter in life processes, we have learned about different physiological activities that goes on in a living organism, whether it's a plant or an animal. We have learned about nutrition. We have learned about circulation. We have learned about respiration. And we have learned about excretion. Well, today we are going to proceed into a very important part that is control and coordination, which is a very important physiological activity which goes on in the living organism. Well, to explain to you very simply what is control and what is coordination. Well, in simple words, coordination in living body is a process by which various organs interact and they work together to adjust vital activities in the body of the living organism. While control is a capacity to restrain and regulate various vital activities through a proper regulating system. Now, very interestingly, in human body, we have two systems, namely the nervous system and the endocrine system. These two systems, which I have mentioned, the nervous system and the endocrine system are responsible to control and coordinate the activities of various cells of the body. The nervous system is composed of some specialized cells which are called neurons. They are also known as nerve cells. These neurons or nerve cells, they produce electrical signals which are called nerve impulses and they also produce chemical substances which are called neurotransmitters. Today we are going to learn about the nervous system in animals and first of all let us try to understand what a nerve cell looks like, what it is composed of because the structural and functional unit of the nervous system is this nerve cells which we also call neurons. Well neurons are very specialized cells of the body which are capable to receive and to conduct and transmit excitation or impulse throughout the body. A very interesting fact, the neurons are the largest cells which are present in the human body. Sometimes nearly it, it, the length of a neuron is 90 to 100 centimeter in length. And typically it is divided into three parts. What are these parts? Shall we see? The first part is called the cell body, the second part is known as a dendrite and the third part is called an exon. Okay, and here I have put a diagram of a nerve cell or a neuron. It's a very simple sketch but here I will just explain to you. So look at the diagram over here. The cell body, it's a main part of the neuron. It is also called as soma. Okay, and this cell body it accepts the nerve impulses from the dendrite and transfer them to the exons. Well, you're wondering what dendrites are, okay? Dendrites, okay, this, this branched out structures that you see here, they are known as dendrites, okay? One cyton produces about five to seven short, slender and branched out structures which are called dendrites, okay? These dendrites, the function of these dendrites is to receive the impulses that I told you about and then it transmits them to the cell body, okay? The second part which is called the exons, okay? This exon, it is a single relatively thicker, long and it doesn't have branches like the dendrites do, okay? The exons are single, relatively thicker, long and branched cytoplasmic extension which arises from the cell body, okay? And what does the exon do? The exon is a single relatively thicker, long and branched cytoplasmic extension like I told you. It arises from the cell body 
and the function and it also has an insulating and protective sheet around it okay which is called the myelin sheet okay now what does the exon do okay the exon tra transmits the impulses away from the cell body to another neuron okay which is also we can refer it to it as a target cell okay so what i would like you to do now is in your book on page number 115 okay there is a diagram of a neuron so i would like you to draw this diagram in your biology notebook label its various parts and you also try to you know practice okay the diagram at least two three and to attain perfection four times five times okay and, and many number of times because all of you are not you know not very good at drawing however you practice because practice makes a man perfect okay so i want you to finish this assignment and then we will go to we will proceed into the chapter in the next part okay that is part two till next time take care bye bye stay home stay safe do it for ourselves do it for our family do it for india let's break the chain of covid 19 hum hongye kamyab jai hind